Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think this is an, e an incredibly interesting decision. I mean, I think, look, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that optimism has very quickly faded. You know, Greece is looking to ease terms of the 240 billion bailout uh, with its creditors, but whether or not it will be able to do this is another story. I mean, this is very much uh, the ECB feeling that there is, it, it's not currently possible to conclude the bailout deal. You know, it's been a nudge by the ECB and Germany, well, sorry, Germany and the ECB governing council to force Greece to uh, speed up negotiations uh, and announce an agreement on, on the debt programme. Um, they're still going to be able to access funding for the central bank, or the Greek central bank, but it's going to be at a much, much higher cost. And whether this is going to be good for Greece or not is another story, because let's face it, higher borrowing costs is going to plunge them into further debt, which, you know, is not great for Greece at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I think this should be a concern for, for everybody involved, uh, not only in government, but also in, in the markets. I mean, most governments would uh, embark on a deleveraging program where they uh, use greater savings and debt reduction to combat this. I mean, global debt has grown by 57 trillion uh, since 2007, which is the equivalent of 286 percent of GDP. Um, you know, the single biggest contributor is government debt, which has also increased by 25 trillion dollars over, over seven years. And I believe the only uh, major economies that have been able to reduce debt is Israel, Egypt, Romania, Saudi Arabia and Argentina. But I think the biggest um, uh, problem here is China. You know, their indebtedness since 2007 has risen uh, from 7.4 trillion to 28.2 trillion or 282 percent of GDP. You know, the problem here is, is that it may never be repaid. You know, the, the, uh, the property developers, the speculators may go bust. Um, and I think it's very difficult for, for rich countries to reduce their debt. You know, the one, reason, the one way they can combat this is by privatisations, higher one-off uh, wealth taxes, uh, a more permissive approach to inflation, but also a more efficient programmes of, of debt restructuring. You know, there is a serious concern here over global debt and also for global growth. And I think, you know, they're going hand in hand at the moment.